Hey, Shalom. When it's done of his oars, but give him no praise to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakal Kadash. My double honors to the apostles of GMS. And honestly, brothers in the work and truth, was sincerity. Where I'm the brother Ras Ma from the brother Lapash. Right, uh, yeah, you know, we, we was just on a on a uh, you know, a little expedition, right? Because uh, obviously we've got we've got some galleries down here in the UK. And uh, I remember this painting that uh, Apostle Gabar uh, basically went into, right? Which I got more information on it here. It says by Carlo Crivelli, the Annunciation with Saint Emmaus, fourteen eighty six, right? And you zoom in here, you basically see what, what is a, a wheel within a wheel, right? Shooting laser down, right? Basically showing you that in the ancient world they knew about the chariots, man. Which you know, like we said, that was what fourteen eighty six, so that ain't even that long ago, right? But these things seem to have been forgotten by the people, man. Right, you be where we'll be at the camp. We'll be speaking about the chariots, and people will try to look at us like we're crazy, right? But these these are things of the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Or a precept. Yep. Uh, I shall get Zechariah five first before I get Ezekiel. Uh, this is Zechariah chapter five, verse one. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, and I see a flying roll. Yep. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. So, Zechariah, the prophet, saw um, saw a chariot in the sky, man. Because he said it's a flying roll. That's how mm. he described it, you know. Because think about it in that time. What flying thing would you have, have had in the shape of the roll? Mm. You know? You ain't going to have no plane back then. You're going to have no drones. Mm. You're not going to have no air balloons. So, what did you have? You had... A flying roll. That was a saucer, man. That mm -hmm. was a flying saucer, as I like to call it, which is um, the chariot of the Lord, man. That's right. And it actually gives the example of what it looks like in Ezekiel, you know. Um, and it says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. So pretty much, man, hey, um, if you if you um, keep reading, it pretty much it's going to, when when the Lord comes with his chariots, okay, then so called UFOs, mm -hmm. he's coming to destroy this kingdom, man. Yep. You know that it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be salvation unto the elect, but to everyone else, it's gonna be a curse going upon the earth, man. You know, when they see them chariots, they're gonna be afraid. Yeah, yeah, because those chariots are coming to uh, uh they're coming to save, <laughs> but they're also coming to destroy this 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 uh this this king help destroy this kingdom, right? Isaiah sixty six fifteen. For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to rend his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Yeah. Right? Hey, so that what that's going into is the fact, you know, the statement that was just made about how oh, the, the Lord's going to come to save. You know, that's that's going to happen. And we'll get into those scriptures, you know, you're using these chariots. Right. However, those chariots are going to be burning people up. Right, and when we read uh, 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 was the second Ezra, the thirteenth chapter, right? When all when this when this destruction has happened, when when the East, when America has been destroyed, you know, this fighting, they're gonna try fight. They're gonna try fight against the Lord, man, right? But guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna get burnt up uh, after a sudden of uh, peaceable multitude. There was nothing to be perceived but dust and smell of smoke, right? Khan, if you bring up that image, it actually shows like a circular a wheel. Yeah, that's within a wheel. And you know, hey, that's in the scriptures. Yeah. You know, so these people were seeing these things, and they were also reading the scriptures. And you know, there was an actual because we see chariots to this day. Yeah. You know, there's all these different videos and different sightings of them. So do you don't think that was not happening back then? That's this right. Is, um, this ain't no new phenomenon. You know, like in the fourth. Like, that's that's right. superior technology. This is Ezekiel chapter one, verse um, sixteen. It says the appearance of the wheels, and their work, was like unto the color of a barrel. Right, so when Ezekiel was looking at this, color of barrel, I believe, is green. Yep. So he was seeing the green chariot. Okay. And he said, um, and they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work were, were work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Okay, so that's giving an example because if you read Ezekiel, the first chapter, it describes the angels and it describes the chariots. And you know, the chariot is a vehicle which the angel travels in mm. as well. Okay. So he actually says, um, a wheel within a wheel, man, and he actually explains that when you it, when you look at the the picture, you can see the wheel within the wheel. Okay, 
And it says, when they went, they went upon their four sides and they turned not when they went. Okay, so if you, you know, so that's in the scriptures, man. Okay, pretty much, that's, you know, straightforward. And I was going to say as well, uh, you know, um, if you read Acts, the first chapter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it links up with Isaiah, I'll, put, I'll get Isaiah 66, you know. Well, this is uh, Acts 1, I'm um, going to start from verse 9. It says, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. And the cloud received him out of their sight. Right. Ooh. Hey, so you read you read throughout the scriptures in certain places where it refers to a, a, a cloud. It's either it could be referring to a literal cloud or it could be referring to a chariot. Yep. Right? So it says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld he was taken up, basically he was abducted, quote unquote. You know, as a, as is as is the um you know, if you were to Google abduction. Right, he got uh, beamed up, beamed up, beamed yeah. up, beamed up. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's that's like the better word to use. Yeah, beamed up, you know, in that whirlwind, man. Yeah, yeah, just that's like right. uh, you know Elijah. Yeah, you know, it says and the cloud received him out of their sight, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, what which also said, "Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing?" Uh, 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 why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Yahushua, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Right? So, hey, you got it? Yeah. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. And from Yahushua Mashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and have made us kings and priests unto, unto Yahweh. Uh, unto, sorry, unto God and his, and his father, okay, which his father is Yahweh, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever a man. Behold, so that's, I just read that so you know that we're talking about Yahweh Shai, which mm. is um, so-called Jesus Christ. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, mm. and they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so a man. So he's, like the brother read that precepts with, mm. the, with the cloud. So every eye is going to see him, and that's the way that the Lord's going to come back. Yep. Same way that he went, as the as the angel said. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it says all the uh, kindreds of the earth are going to well because of him. That's right. Because they ain't never seen anything like this. This is going to be an invasion mm -hmm. of chariots, man. Yep. They're going to think, you know, because Esau would tell them all, there's uh, little green aliens, little grey aliens in there. Yeah. Nah, man. Hey, that there was one account where this guy was given an interview, and he said to the woman, you know, yeah, I saw the... You know, I saw the angel. I think it was he might be in a pilot. Yeah. yeah and he was like, yeah, I saw the uh, angel. I saw the the, the the chariot, and I saw mm. what was inside it. And there was a man who was he was very very dark. No, you said he said he was a black man. He was, a, he was a black man or something like that. And the reporter was like, well, you mean a very very dark man? Or and something? he was like, no, he was a he was a black man. Yeah. You know, basically, you know, because he could see them, the you know, with the afro and all that, mm. and the angels, man. Mm. You know, so when he saw that, that goes to show that hey, this, you know. Yeah, this is they. There's accounts, man. Yeah, and the, the the scriptures say it, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and they, the reason it scares them, and we can get into that in Wisdom Five, mm -hmm. is because of all the wickedness that they've done to quote so called, uh, no, well, to so called black people, man. Right, right. All of the wickedness, because then then they're going to have to be like shit. So wait, this superpower also is black. Shit, does does that mean these so called niggas are superior to us, which we are, right? And and to, to in, in, in times to come, right, it's going to be made known to the people, right, that the children of Israel are the superior upon the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Any more on that? Uh, yeah, that was the point. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 66. Verses. You're going to get wisdom, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'll just read this quickly for you. Yeah, yeah. This is Isaiah 66 and, Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and, he, and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So that shows when this alien invasion, as, as, as Esau would try and call it, which, you know, an alien just means stranger. Mm. Okay, which, uh, you know, to the majority of people on the earth, it is going to be a strange thing because they don't understand they, they don't understand, mm. you know, what's really going on. They're not looking to yep. these guys. They haven't got the understanding. Yeah. Uh, which precepts with Wisdom 5. Yeah. Because they think, oh, this is, this is a strange thing, you know, far beyond what they ever thought. Because what they ever saw in was in movies. They're not going to fully understand what the hell's going on. But the elect are going to understand. Exactly. Okay. You know? And you know what? And the elect are out on the highways and byways pushing this truth. Tell it, you know, the prophets are out on the highways and byways 
telling you, look, this is what a charity is. We're doing this video now. We're telling you, so you got no clock for your sins. You hear right. this? That's right. If you hear this, then you know that we told you, yeah. man. So when it comes to pass, then you're gonna be like, oh shit, that's they were talking about that. Yeah. You know, the Lord's coming back to lay the smackdown on this place, man. He's coming to render his anger with fury and his rebukes with flames of fire. So mm. then that means what? Hey, man, in all the midst of that turmoil of World War Three, the Lord's coming with them chariots, and you know they got them laser beams, man. You know, pursuant to Second Ezra the thirteenth chapter. That's right. Know? This is uh, Wisdom 5 and 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labours. Right? Uh, and hey, you see that happening now, man. You know, you got you, all these camps all around the world. Right? J. Israel just standing there uh, 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 basically cursing Esau out when he's made no account of our labours, man. Right? To this day, we're just Jake is just lazy. Oh, you're lazy. Well, but you wasn't calling Jay lazy when he was working for free for 400 years. In fact, if anyone's lazy, it's, it's a so-called white man. He didn't work for 400 years, mm. right? Yeah, he has a nerve to call anyone else lazy, mm. right? So when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for, why will it be strange? Right? Because but as a brother pointed out, these guys ever, uh, have, haven't ever seen chariots before. Right? And when they've seen it, you always been these, you know, like I said, these little green men, whatever, what have you. Right. And, uh, and you know, then they're going to be seeing the, the ones whom they despise being beamed up into those chariots. Right. It says, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves. This was he whom he had sometimes in derision and the proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness. And it's fools, man. You're, you're a fool. Right? To touch the apple of the Lord's eye. You, you, you're a fool, man. Mm. Right? It says, and his end to be without honor. Right? So you look at Jay, you think Jay doesn't amount to anything. Right? Which, hey, a lot, a lot of Jay, a lot of Jay are pieces of shit. And, and you know, like, like, like we, we believe when we said that also in the video that we did yesterday. Hey, we don't, we don't sugarcoat, you know, we don't try and make it seem like our people are these saints or whatever we know a load of our people are off but hey the lord the lord knows and the lord's got a solution for them to be washed they must first die and be born again mm -hmm. right it says therefore have we heard from the way of truth and the light of righteousness hath not shined on us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us we wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through the deserts where they lay no way, but as far as the way of the Lord, we have not known it. Right? So, I mean, it carries on, but yeah, it's all about the strangeness of that salvation, man. Right? Which the Lord is going to come with that with them chariots, man. That's right. Uh, this is Second Ezra's chapter. You done on that? This is Second uh, Ezra's chapter thirteen, uh, verse three. And behold, and lo, that man, talking about Yahweh Shai, waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, talking about the angels, the chariots. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when it feeleth the fire. That's some laser, mm. you know? And it says, And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven. To subdue that man that came out of the sea. But I beheld, and I don't mean that the Lord's going to come out of the ocean, man. Mm. Okay? And that's, it's talking sea. about that sea. Yeah. You know, waters. It's talking about there's different waters. There's different shamayim, different heavens, man. It means the Lord's going to come from the heavens, man. The outer heavens. Okay? It says, But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. Talking about that great chariot that the Lord's coming in. It's going to be a massive chariot, man. Okay, and it says, but I would have seen the regional place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. Yeah, it was so massive, you couldn't see the ends of it. Yeah, it was massive, man. You know, in Independence Day, you know, they got the massive chariots. Mm. It's going to be bigger than that, man. You know, they couldn't even fit it into that Hollywood movie. It's as it like, it big as a city. It's going to be massive, man. Mm. And it says, um, and lo, as he's... And after this, I beheld, and lo, all that all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet durst fight. That's the remaining armies that Esau is going to have that he's going to try and come up against the Lord with, man. Mm. Okay. And lo, as he saw the violence of the just like they had in Independence Day. Mm. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war, 
but only I saw that he sent out of his, his mouth as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flame and breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests and all they were mixed together the blast of fire the flame and breath and the great tempest and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burned them up every one so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke when I saw this I was afraid mm. so he, so you know Ezra was seeing this vision and he was describing it to the best of his ability as a mountain but the funny thing is you know they, they showed this in the movies okay you got that massive plasma type laser mm, you know mm, like mm. they had on Independence Day that's what is really they're basing it on the scripture here yep. so that's actually going to something that's going to actually happen man the Lord's going to come and do that and the funny thing is what other thing do you know that is going to blast a fire, a flaming breath, and a great tempest? What other thing do you know that mixes it all together and casts out sparks and tempests? No, you, that, 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 that's that mm. superior military technology, that laser, mm. you know? So that's something that the law's actually coming back to do, man. So he's he's not coming back to... to Cold hands. Yeah, he's come, he says, I, I come not to make peace. Mm-hmm. What was it say to? Um, to, to his okay, I, I came. Uh, to bring sword? Uh, yeah, but I came to bring the sword. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll roughly paraphrase. Uh, let me find it. Uh, I bring. Okay. Think not that I'm come to send peace. Rather division, I think it was. Mm. It? Okay, yeah. Matthew ten verse thirty four. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Mm. So hey, the Lord ain't down with it. The Lord ain't coming back here to have no um, sit down debate, man. Okay. This is going to be a straight invasion. That's right. This is going to be a hostile takeover. That's what the Lord's looking to do, man. Mm. It's in 1 Thessalonians 4.16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of, of the Most High, and the dead in Yahushua shall rise first. Right. So hey, those, those brothers, those elders, you know, um, that have died, you know, in, in truth. Right, serving the Lord, they're gonna be raised up first, right? It says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Right? So once again, that's not talking about a cloud, we're not gonna be you know brought up and then we're all gonna be on a big, you know, nimbus cloud or yeah. or, or whatever. Yeah. That's talking about them chariots, man, right. So we we hey, go and be beamed up into them chariots, and that's the salvation. That's the strangeness mm -hmm. of the salvation, right? And this, and you know, you might be like, might be talking about the the destruction. And I remember one guy asked me that. I was like, so how how, how are you going to be saved? Well, and I told him about the chariots, but he wasn't able to receive it, mm. right? What preset? Yep. This is Psalm sixty-eight, verse seventeen. The chariots of God are twenty thousand. Even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Yep. So, hey, the Lord's got his chariots, man. That's right. And they're a great number. I had, a, I had another quick preset. Yep. This is Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. Uh, you know, uh, white represents like purity. Okay, light. And horse represents power. Okay, the Lord's coming in that big chariot, man. Okay. And it says, and he that sat upon him, was called faithful and true. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai. He's faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. So that's what the Lord's coming back to do. Because right now, an enemy is running the earth right now, that's man. Right. The thief. Okay? And he's going to have to be put to put to an end. This kingdom is going to have to be, put, be brought down with a military takeover, man. And that's what the Bible is prophesying, man. Through who? Yahweh Shai's return, man. So, you know, when people say, oh, you know, it's, you know, so-called Jesus, they say Jesus is going to return. Mm. But that's what the scriptures say. He's going to return. And he's going to return in a big way. This is a... Uh, jump down to verse 14. It says, And the armies... Notice how it says armies. It do not just say a big multitude. It says, you know, it's ordered. Which were in heaven, followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth go a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierce fierceness and the wrath of the almighty power. So... Mm. Hey, the Lord's coming back, man. Okay, to rule the nations with a rod of iron, man. Okay, and it starts with that superior military technology because that's right. Because if you look at the Roman Empire, okay, they were pretty much, you know, they had that iron grip on the earth. Okay, they had that superior military, man, and they had that superior technology. Okay, and this is the second leg of the Roman Empire, and Esau's blessing is the sword that has been mm -hmm. given to him from the Lord. So, hey, 
you know, he's going to get taken. He's getting the first of he's getting exposed. The prophets are exposing his lies, his, his, yeah. his deceptions. We're breaking down strongholds with his word. And then the physical takeover is going to happen when the Lord actually returns, as it was prophesied in Acts 1. Yeah. Okay, and different scriptures we're reading, like in Revelation 19. He's going to judge, he's going to, in righteousness, he's going to judge and he's going to make war, man. Mm. Okay, and he's going to, it says, it says he's going to plead with all flesh and the saying of the Lord is going to be many. Yeah. Which the word plead there means shapat in the Hebrew, which is a uh, judge. Yeah. So that's what the Lord's coming back to do with them chariots, man. That's right. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, I mean, I haven't got anything else. Okay. Uh, any films. Yeah, yeah. So just want to share that with you, brothers. Um, you know, like I said, it, you know, the, the, the museum was local. And, you know, brothers, we you know, had a day off. So we just said, uh, you know, let's, uh, you know, let's go, go view it, you know. Uh, last closing scripture. Okay, go, cool, go. Cool. This is Isaiah 31 and 5. As birds flying... Right, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. So the Lord's going to come to defend Yerushalayim, man. Mm. You know, the city of peace, which starts with the men of of the elect. That's right. Which, you know, the women and children, you know, the elect, man, of the nation of Israel, you know. That's right. Yeah, in Yahushua, man. That's right. So, as always, Lord's word, I was edifying. Until we meet again, Shalom.